audio jungle. Exodus, chapter 20. 
Then God spoke all these words and said, I am Yahweh, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Do not worship any gods except me. Do not make for yourself any carved image or likeness or anything in heaven above or on the earth beneath or in the water under the earth. And do not bow down to them or serve them. Do not utter the name of Yahweh to this Jesus. For Yahweh will not put anyone who utters the God's name to this Jesus. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. For six days, you will labor and do all of your work, but the seventh day, this day, is a Sabbath for Yahweh. Do no work on this day, either you or your daughter or your sons or your workers, women or men, or your animals or the foreigner who lives among you. Honor your mother and your father so that you may have a long life in the land that Yahweh has given you. No murdering, no adultery, no stealing, no giving false testimony against your neighbor, no desiring your neighbor's health, no desiring your neighbor's spouse or worker, female or male, or ox or donkey or any that belongs to your neighbor. When people witnessed the thunder and lightning and heard the sound like the blaring trumpets and saw the smoke and they shook in fear and awe. They said to Moses, speak to us, and we will listen. But do not let God speak to us, for it will surely be our death. But Moses said, do not be afraid. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. So, God called us here as we are, for wherever we are, to come together in Christ. God whispered to come and live abundantly, turn away from all that claims that money and power or control reigns. Today's scripture lesson is on the Ten Commandments, given to show us how to love, how to live, and love is the very foundation of the new law. Give to us the beauty of God and all around us. Well, love was also the foundation behind the feelings of both grief and the anger and all the hopes and vision of the prophets. Love was the very foundation of Jesus' life and action while he walked on this earth. He lived with God in our midst relentlessly, relentlessly, and extravagantly. Sharing and showing God's love. He reclaimed the truth of the law, sorting it out of the legal complexity to each woman created. Wrestling with this understanding is at the heart of what it means to be a follower of Jesus. And in a faithful relationship with God, when we come together as a community to share with one another and to learn from one another, and to serve our neighbors, we respond to Christ's call to create that just world for all. That call often leads us to align ourselves with those outcasts and isolated, but together, together, we might construct new possibilities of healing, of connection, of freedom from all that destroys and tears apart in this world. When these are the desires of our heart, we open ourselves to God. And so today, let us come to the table, expectant, eager, and open to share the rich blessings of heaven born from unexpected places, people, and experiences. Let us pray. With all our hearts and minds, we pray for peace in our world, for the welfare of the universal church, and for the unity of all people. Repeat and join me in saying, God have mercy. God have mercy. God have mercy. For all who continue to fight this coronavirus, including the leaders of our country and across the globe, and those who continue to serve to meet their needs. And to meet those needs at great risk to themselves, we pray, God, God have mercy. mercy. God have mercy. For this
this community of Lions, for every city and community, and for those who live in them, we pray, God have mercy. God have mercy. For all of creation, this seasonable weather, and for an abundance of the fruit of the earth, and for the wisdom and will to conserve it, we pray, God have mercy. For the aged and infirm, for the widows and orphans, and for the sick and suffering, we pray, God have mercy. For the poor and the oppressed, for those unemployed or destitute, for prisoners and captives, and for all who remember and care for them, we pray, God have mercy. For deliverance and justice for all in danger and experiencing the violence, oppression, and degradation in this world, we pray, God have mercy. God have mercy. Holy One, defend us, deliver us, and in your mercy and compassion protect us. And we pray together with Jesus' words, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Friends, together at this table, if this is Christ's table, we remember here the life, death, and resurrection of the one who still takes on flesh among us today. And we pray knowing that there is no lockdown on God's blessing and no quarantine on God's grace. So we ask that the spirit of life and love, power and blessing be upon this and every table where all shelter is placed. That the bread we break be broken and gathered in love. And that the cup be poured out and give hope for all. Risen Christ, we ask that we may live in you. Breathe in us that we may breathe in you. We know that on the night of Jesus would be arrested, we gather. We gather with his friends and his companions in the midst of a, a tense and dangerous time. They found each other together at this table. Connecting, connecting over a story, the story of God has left among them. He could have told them anything on that night. He could have told them to rage against those who would have un who would unfairly take his life. But he didn't. He told them to love one another. Love one another so that everyone, everyone would know of God's great love. And so today, here at this table, all are welcome. We remember that as Jesus took the bread, lifting his giving thanks for it. And he broke it. He said, This is my body broken for you. And he needed it. Remember me. And in like manner, he took the cup at the end of the meal. Also, lifting and giving thanks to God for it. Saying, This is my life poured out for you. And then he drank up his cup. Remember me. And 
So today we remember and we share our gifts to one another. Let us pray. Call the Holy Spirit. Breath of God, renewer of life. Settle on these gifts and all who gather here that we might be transformed. Transform in our remembrance of your love and your eternal grace and your grace that makes all things new. For the sake of our shared lives, the life on this land on which we live, and the lives of those yet to come, nourish us and renew us. Our hope is in you, O God.
together, let us all be in the spirit of prayer. Holy One, you have blessed our tables and our lives. May the eating of this bread today give us courage to speak faith and act in love, not only in her sanctuary, but here in this parking lot and out in your precious world. And may the drinking of the cup renew our hope, even in the midst of this pandemic. We ask that you grant your hopeful presence around us all. Those whose bodies, spirits, and hearts need healing. And let us become your compassion and safe refuge here. Amen. So, friends, go in peace and love as our time of worship together has ended. But know that it gifts remain with us. Take the goodness with you today. Live a life, courage, and grace. Do not be afraid. Seek to serve in plenty of at once. Find ways to share. Discern the truth and tell it. Resist all wrong and remember, do not be afraid. Regard all people as your people. In hard times and good, take care of yourself. Take care of your people. And do not be afraid. And may the blessing of God in this life, our life, the friendship of Christ, our healer, and the caring power of the Spirit be our truth and be ours today and every day yet to come. Now let all God's people say, Amen. Amen. Right. 